If you look at the uh, top of the page, we're still solving radical equations, okay? They're just going to be more hard, more challenging. So I don't have as well the steps at the top of the page. So if you want to open up day nine notes, you can. Otherwise, what's the first step to solving a radical equation? Get it by itself. So I have to start by subtracting the 3. Once you isolate the radical, then you can, again, raise it to the power of the index. If it's a square root, we square it. What makes this just a little bit more challenging is that you have to square a binomial. So back from unit one, multiplying a binomial times itself, if you want to write it out, it's x minus 3 times x minus 3, and you have to do the full FOIL. So x times x, yep, and then do the outside and inside at this point in the year, and in algebra 2, see if you can do the outside and inside together. So negative 3x, negative 3x inside gives you negative 6x, and then plus 9 equals... That square, just remove the symbol, and it's x squared minus 21. When you have the same term on both sides of the equation, you can cross them out. They cancel, because if you were to subtract the x squared from the other side, you then take it away. So now I have negative 21 equals negative 6x plus 9. So it went from quadratic to linear. Subtract the 9, divide by negative 6. It does say to solve and check, so if you struggled with the checks, we'll be doing some checks together in the notes, so if you need help, let me know. Is the square root of 5 squared minus 21 plus 3 equal to 5? Well, 5 squared, if the square of 5 is, so 25 minus 21 is 4, square root of 4 is 2, and 2 plus 3 is 5. So it does check. Now, in the next part, notice step number one. We're going to solve equations that contain a double radical. So there's two radical symbols. So if you can, set it up so that you have radical equal to radical. Matt, they're just geese. Or a cube root equal to a cube root. So if possible, this is how you want to set it up. So if you have a highlighter, highlight that. Okay? If you have a plus or minus, so like this question here, it is a radical equal to a radical, but there's a minus 5 on one side. If that's the case, I want you to move the number to be with the monomial. So how would I move the 5 over? We're not going to solve it, but what would you do? So add the 5. Yep, but it's going to be the square root of x plus 5. Cancel equals the square root of x plus 4. It's just easier, and we're going to do one of these, so I don't want to solve this one. It's just easier to have that plus 5 with the monomial, so one terms instead of the binomial 2. Okay? Step number two, we're still going to raise both sides of the equation to the power of the index, okay? Um, you may have to take a look at my note. You may have to expand, which means to write it out twice, and then possibly do a distributive property. Simplify and solve. If you end up, now this is the case where when I actually do what we did above and we remove the radical, you may still end up with another radical. Okay, so we'll just have to not square just once, but twice. So number four, remember to check your answer. We're going to check the first few. If it doesn't say to check, we'll just do it right on the calculator. So number one, this one's easier. When it's equal to radical equals radical, what do we do? What's that? Square both sides. 
We just start by squaring both sides. It removes both the symbols. So we end up with 5C plus 1 equals 4C plus 3. Yeah? Subtract the 4, subtract the 1. So subtract the 4C from the 5C, subtract the 1 from 3. Not a negative 2, but positive 2. Again, let's just do a quick uh, check in our head. On the left side, 5 times 2 plus 1. Does that equal 4 times 2 plus 3? 11, it checks. Either in your head or on the calculator. You still need to check when it doesn't say to check. Now, we have it equal to here. Cube equals cube. That's what we want to happen. So now I can do step number two and raise both sides of the equation to the what power if they're cube roots. So cube, cube, we have 3x minus 10 equals x. It's now linear, so you want to subtract 3x from both sides. And then we end up with negative 10 equal to negative 2x divided by negative 2. We've got 5 equals x. Just a quick check on the side. Um, cube root of 3 times 5? 15 minus 10? Does that equal the cube root of 5? It checks. So, so far I would have to say out of the 3, number 1 was probably the most challenging because you had to square the binomial. Now let's look at 3 through 5. With all of these we're going to solve and check. Okay, so take a look at the first one. Is the radical isolated? The radicals are by themselves on each side, right, with no plus or minus. When that's the case, when there's no plus or minus any number, you can go ahead and square both sides. When you do the left side, though, this means 3 radical x times 3 radical x. You don't have to show me that. You just have to note that when you square 3 radical x, you get 9x. Because 3 times 3 is 9, radical x times radical x is x. So I end up with a square that side, I get 9x, square this side, it removes the symbol, and we get 5x plus 32. Go ahead and subtract the 5x divided by 4. Oh, you're going to give me the answer? Okay. What do you get, Adnan? x equals 8. So when I check that, is 3 radical 8 equal to square root of 5 times 8 plus 32. Now this is 40 plus 32, 72. You can simplify that, yes, using the largest perfect square. But can you make radical 72 equal to 3 radical 8? What perfect square would you use? Nine times eight. So if I break this down, nine times eight, this is three radical eight. I realize eight can be broken down, but if you can somehow rewrite one side to match what's written on the left side, then it checks. Three radical eight on the right, we have three radical eight on the left. Now, the next one. There is no plus or minus. All right, number, what number is that? Four. Number four, is there any plus or minus happening to any radical? No. So we start by doing the inverse, in this case, of the cube root, which is cubing. So cube this side, the symbol's gone, we're left with x plus 6. Cube that side. Now you could write it out three times, but let's do it the other way. In the other question above, 3x or 3 radical x times 3 radical x was 9x. So you square the 3 and then the square got rid of that symbol. You have to, in this case, cube the 2, which is what? 
a, and then that removes the symbol. So you have the x minus 1. But what do you do with that 8 in the x minus 1? What operation is going on? Between these two multiplications. So you have to multiply, which you'll have to distribute the 8. 8x minus 8 equals x plus 6. Subtract the x. We've got 6 equals 7x minus 8. Add the 8 and you get 14. Divide by 7 and x is 2. So our check is the cube root of 2 plus 6 equal to 2 times the cube root of 2 minus 1. 2 plus 6 is? Cube root of 8 is? 2. On this side, this is 2 times the cube root of 2 minus 1, which is 1. What's the cube root of 1? And is 1 times 2 equal 2? It checks. Last one. I won't give you too many of these. This is the only one where you have a plus and minus um, to a radical. My suggestion in your notes was to move that 2 with the monomial, which is the left side. So add the 2 over. You cannot put the 2 underneath the radical symbol. So I have radical x plus 2 equals radical x plus 16. We don't have an issue. We are going to, at this point, so you guys could have been squaring and cubing all along without the radical isolated. But what you guys make a mistake on is not expanding and doing a full foil. At this point, when you square, you have to square both sides. This side, it removes the symbol. You're left with x plus 16. On the left side, write it all out and let's foil. So this is radical x plus 2 times radical x plus 2. So radical x times radical x is x. In the inside, what's x times radical 2? 2 radical x. Inside should also be exactly the same because you're multiplying the same two binomials. So x times 2 is, or radical x times 2, is 2 radical x, and 2 times 2 is 4. You can do the same thing we did before. The x's are on both sides, so you can cross them out. Because when you subtract x from the left side, it becomes 0. What's 2 radical x plus 2 radical x? Adding radicals, you just add the coefficient out front. 2 plus 2? So 4 radical x plus 4 equals 16. So what do you think I should do to both sides? Subtract the 4. And you get 4 radical x equals 12. Now you could square both sides at this point, or you can divide it by 4. And we get square root of x equals 3. Now to finish, so we did 1 square, and then I have to square it again. So I get x equal to 9. Let's see if that works. So you have to check it in the original equation which is the square root of 9. Does that equal the square root of 9 plus 16 minus 2? Square root of 9 is? 9 plus 16? 9 and 16 is 25. Square root of 25 is 5. And 5 minus 2 is 3. It checks.